How strong is Beerus really, and have Goku and Vegeta surpassed Beerus' power yet? Well, in this video, we're going to be answering these questions with evidence, so stay tuned for more. As the possibility of Beerus fighting Mora in the manga hangs in the balance, I thought it would be timely to actually determine what Beerus' current strength is. Now, this is a hard task because as Super progresses, the level of his power seems to keep increasing because that fits with Toriyama's vision for Dragon Ball Super. So let's start off by firstly reviewing all that we know about Beerus. He's the god of destruction of Universe 7 and he's held this position for at least hundreds of millions of years, so he possesses millions of years of fighting experience. Hey, that's definitely something to include on your resume. Beerus does have power on a universal level, as when Beerus and Shampa fought millions of years before Battle of Gods, they gathered energy that would destroy the universe in an instant. They didn't care if the universe was destroyed because they would survive, but as if we and Vados would just let them do that. On a side note guys, consider subscribing to us if you're into Dragon Ball and hit the bell so you don't miss any uploads and Actually, the best way to stay notified is by following me on Twitter, as sometimes YouTube notifications are lazy like Beerus. Despite his position, Beerus has always struggled to find a sparring partner outside of Whis that could somewhat rival his power. For the longest time, he had lost hope, which left him in a constant state of boredom and moodiness, eating lots of food and sleeping for decades. But when the Oracle Fish told him of the appearance of the Super Saiyan God, he was intrigued. Just before Beerus fought Goku, King Kai stated Beerus has enough power to send Super Saiyan 3 Goku flying to the ends of the universe just by blowing air out of his nose. Once they started fighting, Beerus was disappointed with Goku's Super Saiyan 3 power. Beerus then instantly knocked Goku out with a blow to the shoulder or a chop to the neck in the manga. Goku speculated that Beerus is more powerful than Super Saiyan Vegito, as Goku doubted combining with Vegeta would net the win. At Bulma's party, Beerus casually also defeated all of the Dragon Team with a bored expression on his face, showing off his incredible stamina and key control. Because of Whis' training, Beerus has mastered a variety of martial arts and has extensive knowledge of pressure points, allowing him to instantly incapacitate less powerful opponents. Once Goku was made Super Saiyan God, Beerus was excited to find a warrior who was somewhat worthy of his power. As a result, he dragged out this fight for his entertainment, despite his ability to easily defeat Goku, quickly. He allowed Goku to get stronger so he could crush Goku's full power. It's for certain now that Toriyama's power scaling of Beerus against Super Saiyan God Goku is irrelevant. It's that scale Toriyama mentioned in a 2014 interview where he placed Super Saiyan God Goku at a 6 and Beerus at 10. He also stated that Goku would become stronger through fighting Beerus and might have eventually become stronger than Beerus. As he mentioned, Goku turns the tables, but this clearly is out of date now. We witnessed Beerus' universal level power as he nearly destroyed the whole universe just by fist punching with Goku, and Beerus still was suppressing his full power. When it was stated in the Battle of Gods dialogue that he used his full power, he really actually didn't. One of Beerus' abilities is that he can nullify energy, meaning he completely cancels the opponent's key during their attack. Beerus stated he can only do this when he uses his full power, but I wouldn't take Beerus' statements seriously as Whis later revealed that Beerus didn't use his 100% power. He merely said so to draw out Goku's full strength. Other reasons include that Beerus is lazy and he thinks that it's disgraceful to fight at full power, especially against the Saiyan. And by now we can understand this, especially when he has rivals such as Key Teller and Belmod in the manga. He doesn't like to use his full power unless necessary. He doesn't like to reveal his true self. He's completely uncomfortable with the idea. So he's a bit insecure, really. We stated Beerus fell asleep after using his full power, but Beerus was just acting. Whis knew Beerus secretly enjoyed every second of the fight with Goku and he simply couldn't destroy his new amusement. It's never been stated as fact that Beerus used his full power in a battle we've witnessed. Despite Beerus being a Hakaishin for hundreds of millions of years, he doesn't have the mastery of Ultra Instinct. He did display the completed Ultra Instinct versus all the Gods of Destruction in the manga, 
Beerus was portrayed as one of the strongest gods in the manga, and since he knew it was a fight to the death, he likely used his full power, but it was never stated. It was evident though that he experienced the fight or flight response in his body, and his senses were greatly honed. This was probably induced by all the gods wanting to kill him first. Beerus avoided and or survived the attacks of many of the gods, including Belmod, Rumushi, and Jean, by constantly outwitting them. Goku noted Beerus wasn't holding back, so we've seen close to Beerus' full power in the manga, but Beerus overestimated his own power as he couldn't defeat them all at once, as he proclaimed. Maybe he'd grown weaker than he realised after slacking off training for thousands of years, but then again that doesn't make sense as decades of sleep shouldn't weaken Beerus, who has been raising his ki for hundreds of millions of years. I believe that Whis is still training Beerus as it's part of his job, and just because Goku and Vegeta are now training under Whis, they're his students, I don't believe that Beerus has stopped training altogether. It just takes him a while to get awake, years in fact. In the end, Beerus and Kitella were the only two left standing, and sadly their fight was interrupted by the Grand Priest. The manga therefore placed Beerus in the top three strongest gods. I say three because look how Belmod was faking his own defeat, presumably to emerge as the last standing god, once Beerus and Kitella had decided their fight. This instance agrees with the anime somewhat, where we stated that the Universe 11 Hakaishin was stronger than Beerus, which can only mean Belmod. However, the anime doesn't depict Beerus as one of the strongest gods. There are others such as Jean, which are hinted to be superior than the rest. In episode 96, Jean from Universe 12 refused to fight with the other three Hakaishins, whose universes were exempt from the tournament. Jean refused by saying, the results would be obvious. This statement can be interpreted in different ways, but it does hint that he is far stronger, or he can know the future to say with confidence that he can beat the other three gods. Sadly, it's not confirmed which of the two, whether he's stronger or he knows the future, but despite these differences with Beerus between the anime and the manga, let's summarise how strong Beerus is compared to the other gods of destruction. So Beerus is stronger than Cedra, as Golden Frieza easily dealt with Cedra's energy of destruction. Beerus is stronger than Shampa, as Vados basically says Shampa would most likely lose due to his weight. Beerus might be weaker than Jean, based on what we already mentioned, but then again, his attack didn't connect with Beerus in the manga, and Beerus is stated to be weaker than Belmod in the anime. Beerus might be weaker than Kitella, as he lost to him in an arm wrestle. Rimushi arguably was very powerful as well in the manga, as he took out quite a number of Hakaishin with his attacks, but Beerus was the one to KO him in the end. In terms of the other gods, we didn't get statements or panels of Beerus interacting with them, so I assume they aren't comparable to Beerus in power, which is probably a misassumption. Therefore, my god rankings are number one, Kitella, number two, Belmod, number three, Beerus, number four, Ramushi, number five, Jean, number six, Likia, number seven, Cedra, number eight, Shampa, and then the rest follow on from there. I'm definitely open to your opinion here, so please do let me know your opinion down in the comments section below on your rankings for the gods in terms of strength. Let's now talk about how Goku and Vegeta compare to Beerus, as it's highly debated with some saying they rival or have surpassed Beerus already, whilst others say they're nowhere close. Before Resurrection F, when Goku and Vegeta built up their ki with Whis training, their power was compared to a nearby tree, and Beerus' power was compared to the castle itself. This was how pre-Resurrection F Super Saiyan God Goku compared to Beerus' full power. The tree probably stood at like 15 meters tall, as the castle was like hundreds of meters tall. It's a massive gap, so it just goes to show that Goku and Vegeta individually have a long way to go to get to Beerus. Master Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta doesn't compare to Beerus as he easily one-shotted Vegeta in the manga. Vegeta's Blue Evolution doesn't compare to Beerus either, despite the form surpassing Topo, the newly minted God of Destruction, because Topo has to be far weaker than Beerus. Blue Evolution is at least on the level of Goku Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 10, so Beerus' concerns over Kaioken in episode 39 in the Universe 6 tournament doesn't mean Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken comes anywhere near close to Beerus' full power either. Clearly, Goku and Vegeta still haven't surpassed Beerus, and if it had have happened, Whis would have mentioned it in the tournament, except in the case of Goku's completed Ultra Instinct, which he can't access anymore. 
We do, however, know that Super Saiyan Blue Vegito's power may be greater than Beerus from the manga. But there is a problem with this. How did Shin know of Beerus' full power when he's not very knowledgeable? Has Beerus used it in Shin's lifetime? This occurred before the Tournament of Power exhibition matches, so Shin hasn't seen Beerus fight all the gods before this point. Vegito may be stronger though, as he is a fuse being made from the two strongest fighters in Universe 7. The fusion grants a multiplication of their power together rather than addition. So for Shin to suggest may be stronger does make sense. We're told time and time again that Beerus isn't just stronger than Goku and Vegeta, he's literally worlds above them and whilst I do think that this still is the case in the Moro arc, I can't see it with Vegito or Gogeta, those two are really powerful and must be close to Beerus or above him. In summary, Beerus might still be fractionally stronger than Super Saiyan Blue Vegito and he's definitely stronger than Blue Evolution and Mastered Super Saiyan Blue and God Topo and the anime stated Jiren is stronger than Belmod and Belmod's stronger than Beerus. Therefore, Goku's complete Ultra Instinct beating full power Jiren means Goku in that state was temporarily stronger than Beerus. However, because Goku can't access that power anymore, we can't say he's actually stronger than Beerus. Another point to mention is, the extent to which Beerus is stronger than Goku and Vegeta keeps increasing as the series progresses. The goalposts keep moving further away from what we first imagined and will continue to do so. Beerus is vastly stronger than what Battle of Gods had us believe and the reasons for this aren't because of inconsistent writing but primarily due to Toriyama's vision for Dragon Ball Super. In the Super Manga Volume 1 release, there was an interview where Toriyama stated, quote, Right now, I don't have any plans for Goku and Vegeta to surpass Beerus and Whis, end quote. And he went on to say concerning Beerus and Whis, quote, If it hadn't have been for those two, making any more story after that would have been a nightmare. There wouldn't have been anything to expand upon, end quote. I know these interviews were a long time ago, and I know what Toriyama states here is more referring to the lore, but I believe it's about strength too. Toriyama needs Beerus to be this strong because it drives the story better and gives Goku and Vegeta a goal to strive for. However, ultimately, Goku and Vegeta won't ever be stronger than Beerus, as Toriyama's intent is to have them as Beerus rivals, as stated by the Oracle Fish. So by the end of Super, we can expect the best that Goku and Vegeta manage to do is to be equal to Beerus in combat abilities overall. The Oracle Fish knows all the future, unlike the Zeno, who doesn't. He's just all powerful. Goku and Vegeta can't be rivals to Beerus in terms of strength if they are much stronger than Beerus. It can't satisfy the statement. Another area to gauge Beerus' strength is by assessing his speed. The only standout moment for some people is in episode 69, when they think that Beerus moved very fast and as a result might be stronger than Whis. It might have looked like Beerus flew to Earth from his planet in 10 seconds or so for food. However, this speed was down to Whis, as Whis said he had never worked up that much speed to get here. Compare this to Super Saiyan God Goku who took the same amount of time to fly from the seabed to Earth orbit and you realise Whis is much faster and stronger than we imagine. Whis' speed is therefore nothing to do with his staff but comes from his own fighting power. Whis usually travels slower for his own convenience as it was stated it takes 3 minutes to reach Earth from King Kai's planet. Usually in Dragon Ball, the stronger you are, the faster you move, and the evidence is from Dragon Ball Z Manga Chapter 55 when Vegeta stated that as strength increases, speed also increases. The only recent exception to this was Dispo, as we said in the last video about Gohan's power that Dispo had a specific technique that could raise his speed thousands of times for a millisecond, but it didn't actually boost his power at all. The last thing I want to mention is concerning what Beerus 100% power would look like. Did you guys ever see this amazing fight animation by UKG Animation where full power Broly fights Beerus who then transforms into his 100% power form? Whilst it's great to watch, Beerus wouldn't have to transform to reach his full power as he doesn't rely on transformations to get stronger. He has been raising his key for hundreds of millions of years so he just needs to gather key from within. This is what he kept doing against God Goku and also against the other Hakaishins. Of course, Toppo actually transformed into his Hakaishin power, but I feel like that was the only way that a mortal can access the power without actually being made into a Hakaishin. I'm not trying to debunk this animation, but we just wouldn't see Beerus transform like this. 
but it's up for debate and I definitely though would like to see something like this versus Morrow because it'd be so cool but it probably just wouldn't happen. Anyways, here ends the analysis. I hope you enjoyed learning about all the evidence for how strong Beerus is from the anime and the manga. Definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, your opinion on how strong Beerus is. Also, and also guys, if you missed out this video, check this video out here up in the corner about how strong Gohan is in the Tournament of Power. We went through a lot of informative evidence, so definitely go check that video out for more interesting, informative Dragon Ball content. Thanks guys for watching, and if you enjoyed it, please okay. that like button and definitely subscribe to expand your knowledge of Dragon Ball and get coverage of Super. And lastly, check out the other videos of mine on the end screen, and you're gonna help Universe 7 rank higher. Thanks, Kai Kai. <laughs> <laughs>